What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we're doing something extra fun. I've been loving these box braids. You probably heard me talk about them countless times. But in typical Maddie fashion, I wanna switch it up a little bit and just kind of revive, revamp, bring back to life my box braids. I'm still loving them. I love the length, I love the color, I love everything about them. But one of the things that was like a deciding factor when I first got them done was if I should curl the ends or not. So I'm sure you've seen hella girls having these really cute goddess type braids, goddess type twist, whatever you want to call them. I don't know, I just fell in love with it immediately when I saw it. I knew I wanted to do curly ends from the second I got my box braids, but I loved how the straight ends looked so much that I ended up keeping them. Now it's been a couple of months, and now I think I definitely want to go ahead and, you know, <laughs> curl these bad boys. I don't know, I just feel like adding a little curl to the braids will give it a little je ne sais quoi. A little voulou vous coucher à soi. So this is gonna be a pretty simple technique. I'm just gonna walk you through how I curl my ends and hopefully this doesn't turn out trash. I don't know what's gonna happen. So fingers crossed that it works. So first of all, these braids are so long. I guess the first thing to do would be to decide how far I want the curl to go up. So I'm using these and if you're not familiar with these, they are, what are they called? I'll put the name right here because I literally can't remember. These bad boys are used to curl your hair. I used to have a pack of like 30 and now that's dwindled down to these four that I could find. I'm not going out and buying a whole nother pack because I'm cheap. So this is what we're, okay. This is what we're working with today and I'm just gonna use these four and basically rotate them around. It's gonna take a lot longer because I just have four of them, but not a lot longer, just a little bit longer, but. It is what it is. I have my water already boiling downstairs, so I'm gonna go get that in a second once it's done. The first thing I'm gonna do is just take my scrunchie and just move my hair to one side. I'm just going to put the scrunchie here. I'm gonna try to put my scrunchie right where the actual hair starts, like when the braid ends. Okay. I figured out it's gonna be much, 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 much more easy if we simply do one side over here and one side over here. So we'll work on side A first. So side A, we're gonna take, we're gonna put our scrunchie in. You are using boiling water, so you just wanna be aware and careful because we can get burned. It can happen, we don't want that. So this is what the first side is looking like and then this side is just gonna stay over here. So I'm just gonna take this and then I'm gonna take all four of my rollers and I'm going to roll the hair. I'll we'll start with this piece. And I kinda want it to start where the braiding actually starts. So right where the box braid actually starts is where I wanna start to roll. I'm just gonna place it on here. We're gonna roll around. Make sure that you're rolling tight. Cause we don't want no problems. So after I roll it with these rollers, it's pretty simple. You just take it and they're bendable. So you just bend it into place so that the hair doesn't come undone. You bend it once at the bottom and then once at the top. And voila. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I don't section the hair off too big because I kind of want the curls to all be relatively the same size. I know it's kind of hard to judge that with braids, but if we can, let's try to do that. Okay, so once you look crazy like me, that's how you know that you're almost done. These are our three little squigglies and all that's left to do now is pretty much to dunk them in some hot boiling water. So we've got our very hot boiling water, as you can see. <laughs> so this next step, obviously you have to be really careful because it's boiling water. We're just gonna dip it in there. I'm not gonna hold it in there for too long. I'm gonna have my towel ready too, just for when it starts to drip. I don't know why I'm nervous. Let's just do it. Okay. It's happening. Good luck. And we're in. Right, so uh, it's a little foggy, but but we're just sitting pretty. Sitting pretty. I'm not gonna leave these in for super long, but I do want them to get fully coated. 
Ooh, it's hot. This is really hot. <laughs> Maybe I'll count to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so I'm going to slowly take it out now. Slowly. We don't want to burn ourselves. Please, no. No drippies, no burns. An unproblematic hair tutorial. So I'm just wrapping it up in the cloth, trying not to drip it on myself. I don't know if you guys can see. It's literally steaming. Literally. Like, look at that. That's crazy. Look how hot. I'm just gonna let it cool for a second just because I feel like if I take it out immediately, the curls aren't gonna hold. I don't know why I feel that way, but I'm just gonna give it a second, let it kind of cool. This could look really cute and it could be trash. Let's test one out. Let's take one loose. Should we or should I wait? It's really hot still. Unravel. Slowly. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Please be curly. Oh, and I oop. And I oop. We got a curl going. It's an interesting curl, but a curl nonetheless. Okay. 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 Let's try option number two. Slowly uncoil. I hope I'm undoing these the right way. I hope there's not like a specific way you have to uncoil them. Ah. Oh. Got a little hang time. And last one. Maybe I'll unravel this one from the bottom. No, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. This is first side. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. They're so tight. All right, I'm gonna take this scrunchie that got incredibly wet out. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so first side turned out super cute. Let's go ahead and do side number two. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I really assumed that this was gonna be some big ordeal, like most things in my life. But this is pretty simple. The curls turn out cute. It so we've got our next three victims ready and um we're just gonna dip it again same thing as last time careful not to get water anywhere please don't burn me unravel number one Maybe I should leave that longer. This one's still okay, but it's not. It's still curly, don't get me wrong. The other ones were just a lot curlier, so I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes to let these ones dry more, and then we're gonna take them loose. All right, let's take out the other two. All right, last batch of curls done. So I feel like this side, I went for it. Like, look how tight these ones are, but these ones, it gets tight at the bottom, but at the top here, we slacking. But that's okay. I can tell. One side is like ready to party and the other side's like droop. So maybe I should have gone further up with this hair. Alright guys, sorry I had to fix the edges. They were looking a little cray cray. I love the curls. So cute.
Alright guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video today. I love the curls. I think they turned out really pretty. This was super easy to do. I wish on one of the sides I had gone up further, but it's something that I honestly don't think is gonna bother me that much. Like right now it's annoying me, but when I'm wearing my hair down, I probably won't even be able to tell the difference. It's just a cute little temporary style. I could always do it again if I needed to. I really loved it. This was super simple. I'm glad I did this tutorial. Hopefully it helps one of you. Let me know what you guys think of the hairstyle down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe down to my channel so we can be YouTube friends forever. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.